On today's episode of The Joy of Editing, I want to get a look at DxO Pure Raw 3. This is a new product by DxO. It now has Deep Prime XD. We're going to take a look at it using an extremely high ISO image with tons of noise, and we're going to see how well it can do with that image. So stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. DxO Pure Raw 3 is out now with Deep Prime XD. The old version, Pure Raw 2, had Deep Prime in it. So, this is a newly developed product and it is a better noise reduction. We'll also do a comparison on this same image with Pure Raw 2 compared to Pure Raw 3 to see if there's much of a difference there. And by the way, I'll be working out of Lightroom today. You can use Pure Raw 3 as a standalone app. You can batch process your images with it. I like to use it out of Lightroom, so I'm going to show you my Lightroom workflow for Pure Raw 3. And I have this image. I just shot it today of some periwinkle. And of course, this is a raw file. So let me go ahead and zoom in. I'm zooming into 300%. So you can see all the noise in this image. There is no processing on this image whatsoever. This is straight out of the camera. I also processed this image using Pure Raw 2 so we can compare the difference. Pure Raw 2 had Deep Prime, which was very good. Pure Raw 3 has a newer version of Deep Prime, and it's called Deep Prime XD. By the way, this is the Pure Raw 2 result. I'm not going to show that to you yet. I'm going to go ahead and process this image first in Pure Raw 3, and then we'll compare Pure Raw 2 next to Pure Raw 3. And then if you already own Pure Raw 2, this will give you an idea of whether you should upgrade to Pure Raw 3 or not. By the way, I'll also give you a Dropbox link where you can download the original CR2 RAW file along with my two test results, so you can actually see the actual results I have on your own computer screen if you'd like to do that. The Dropbox link will be in the description below this video. I'm going to go ahead and make this image full size so you can see what it looks like. As I said, the Lightroom workflow is very simple. You do not even have to leave Lightroom to process this image in either Pure Raw 2 or Pure Raw 3. You can stay right here in Lightroom and you can also batch process images right here from Lightroom. As you can see, I have the CR2 RAW file selected. All we need to do is come up here to File in Lightroom, come and find Plugin Extras, and then if you're going to process in Pure Raw 2, click on Process with Pure Raw 2. If you're going to process with Pure Raw 3, click on process with pure raw three this dialog will come up and sometimes you'll get a dialog saying you may need to download the information for the lens of your particular camera and then you would just go ahead and tell it to go ahead and download that it just takes a second i've already done that so i don't get that message coming up but you might see that message and then you're going to have four choices here high quality prime deep prime and deep prime xd now, Deep Prime would have been what was in uh, Pure Raw 2, but now we have Deep Prime XD. And then you also have Prime and High Quality. Now, High Quality and Prime, they're very good noise removal methods, especially if you have lower ISO images. But when you have high ISO images, you definitely want to use Deep Prime or Deep Prime XD. But if you're going to go with Pure Raw 3, I would recommend that you use Deep Prime XD. You'll get the best results. So go ahead and choose the one you want. But in my case, I have Deep Prime XD selected. And then you have optical corrections. Now, DxO are a great company when it comes to optical corrections. They probably wrote the book on optical corrections, okay? So I have mine checked on for lens softness. Now you have a drop down here, you have standard, strong or hard, and that would be how sharp your image will be. And then you have vignetting, it'll protect your edges from vignetting, chromatic aberration, and lens distortion. And I recommend that you have all three of these checked on. And then after it does its uh, lens distortion correction, it may have to crop into the image a little bit. So you have a drop down here and you have image crop to original ratio. That's the one that I recommend. Then they have maximum rectangle or complete image area. But it will just crop in your image if it has to cut into it a little bit. So I recommend using image crop to original ratio. 
And then, of course, with your raw file, I recommend that you bring it back as a raw file. So have DNG checked on. You can bring it back as a JPEG or a TIFF file. This is something new in Pure Raw 3. We couldn't do TIFF in Pure Raw 2. But if you want to bring back a TIFF file, you have that option. You can check this on. And then we have destination. Normally, I would have this checked on. For this test today, I'm putting it in a custom folder. But normally, I would recommend this one. If this is checked on, it'll give you a DXO folder in the original images folder, which is really handy for finding your images. But in my case today, I'm putting it in a custom folder. And if you click on Browse, you can uh, tell it where you want that custom folder to be. I've already have mine selected. And then you could rename your file. You can give it a custom text or whatever you want. I'm just going to use the standard file naming, renaming that DxO gives us today. And then we have this new export here, export to. Right now I have it set for don't export after processing. But if you click the drop down, you could uh, export it to Adobe Lightroom Classic after processing or to say Photoshop after processing so that's kind of nice and that's new so once you get that dialog set up all you need to do is click start processing and you can see it starts its process now it just takes a few seconds here to do this it's really pretty quick and when this is done i'll get right back with you and we'll look at the result now just like pure raw 2 it's going to put it in a collection in a folder called dxo pure raw 3 and you can see here it is right here all right so it puts it in a collection, but it also puts it where you tell it to go. In my case, I put it in this folder right here. So DxO Pure Raw 3 Test. So I'm going to click on here, and here's my three files here. So this is my original file. And then this is my Deep Prime file from Pure Raw 2. And this is my file from Pure Raw 3, the Deep Prime XD. But first off, let's go ahead with the CR2, the original raw file, unedited. And we're going to zoom in to an area like right here so we can really see. And I'm going to come up here to view and make sure I have lock zoom position checked on. So that way, when I zoom in, they'll all be at the same location. Again, this image was shot at ISO 25,600. That's the maximum ISO speed I can get on my Canon 5D Mark II. And as you can see, this image is pretty much destroyed. You can't even use it. But check it out. Now, this is pure raw too right here. I'm going to click on this. And as you can see, it does a really nice job. But just examine it there for a while. You can see it, it does a nice job of uh, correcting the sharpness on it. It's not as soft as it was. And we can see just a little bit of noise back in here, but not much. It's really good. Now let's check out Pure Raw 3 with Deep Prime XD, and that's this file. So as you can see, it's really cleaned up that noise, and it definitely looks sharper. So it's a pretty nice result. Let's go back to Pure Raw 2. Here's Pure Raw 2. Okay, so just study that for a little bit. And don't forget, you can download all these files and check these out for yourself. And here's Pure Raw 3. Now I'm going to go and look at other areas of this image. Let me click on the original CR2 RAW file. Okay, so you can really see how noisy this image is. And here's Pure Raw 2. And now here is Pure Raw 3. So it's a really good improvement. And, you know, you have to decide whether you think it's worth the uh, upgrade or not. But I think it does a really good job, and I'm really happy with it. Let's go to some other areas of the image. Let's look at these leaves up in here. So here's Pure Raw 2. And now here is Pure Raw 3. Pretty amazing. It does a really good really good job and now let me go ahead and go back to the full size image so there's pure raw 3 at this size you can't tell that much here's pure raw 2 and here is the original cr2 file my final thoughts on this product i think it's a really good product and it's a really good upgrade this is dxo pure raw 3 right now it's 129 now i don't have any special discount codes DxO has not been giving those out at this time, but anyway, it's 129. Now, I'll have an affiliate link in the description below this video, and I'd appreciate it if you use that. It'll take you to this product. If you decide to buy it or get a free trial just to see if it works well with your images, with your camera, on your computer, you could check that out. 
So use that uh, affiliate link, whether you just get a free trial or you want to go ahead and purchase the product. When you use my affiliate link, I make a small commission, and that's what helps me to keep these tutorials coming your way. And when you use my links for any products that you purchase, I really appreciate it, and I thank you for that. If you already own Pure Raw 2, you could go ahead and get an upgrade at a reduced price. Your price would be $79, so you may want to take advantage of that if you own Pure Raw 2. Well, there it is, everyone. That's Pure Raw 3 with Deep Prime XD. Hey, don't forget to download my test results, the original RAW file, along with the result from Pure RAW 2 and the result from Pure RAW 3. If you enjoyed the video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, Happy editing!